In my previous video, I told you about the Leap Controlled Blender Sculpt tool I was making. Now this is a long overdue follow up of the progress I've made since then. I released source code a few weeks ago. The plugin is basically complete now and everyone can go try it. Now to start it, with the way I've done it currently, you've got to select the object and then go into sculpt mode before starting the sculpt session. Then of course you can do all the stuff I showed you in the first video with your left hand, such as tumbling, tracking, and zooming. But now we have the long awaited feature, the sculpt tool, which tracks the position of your right hand, as seen by that pointy cone thing. Once you bring the sculpt cursor close to the surface of the cube, boom, surface deformation. It's going to take loads of practice before you can use it to the same proficiency as a mouse. The truth is, humans aren't really that good at processing and visualizing a 3D environment. And the tracking is far from refined at the moment. For example, the sculpt tool has to be near the surface of the object in order to deform it. If you go right past it, nothing happens. One of the primary advantages of this interface is that you can rotate the object and sculpt it at the same time, sort of like how they sculpt pottery. But so far, I found that technique extremely difficult to use. As you can see, I've pretty much given up on sculpting anything comprehensible. I find that the tracking accuracy goes down when you're tracking two hands at the same time on the leap. I'm not sure if that's because I have trouble coordinating both my hands doing different things, or actually the leap is not as good when it's detecting two hands at the same time. Now anyone can try this plugin out. Just clone the git repo from the description below. Then follow the instructions on readme.txt to get started. If you want to contribute, I've tried my best to comment all the code I find ambiguous, so you can see what I'm doing. 